uh, due to so now it's clear is board is clear to everybody board is clear yes is today we go with the second part of surface areas and volumes that is see, get this this is h please take the figure okay figure solid figure cylinder is obtained by folding a rectangular sheet when we fold a rectangular sheet either lengthwise or widthwise you will get a solid figure cylinder okay. i will show you when we fold this rectangular sheet like this lengthwise then the width will the width will become the height of the cylinder the length will become the circumference of the cylinder l will be 2 pi r and breadth will be height of the cylinder is it clear so a cylinder is a combination of a rectangular piece and two circular ends top and bottom if it is open then we consider that portion as curved surface area if it is closed then it is considered as total surface area is it clear so after getting the figure you write the suitable formula first point curved surface area curved surface area of the cylinder so when the length is enclosed as a circle the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r and the breadth will become the height so the formula is 2 pi r h unit square okay total surface area total surface area it includes curved surface area and two circular ends and we know that area of a circle is pi r square we have top pi r square bottom pi r square it is 2 pi r square so 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h taking 2 pi r as common you will get h plus r unit square 2 pi r into h plus r gives the total surface area 2 pi r h gives lateral surface area of the cylinder please check the figure a cylinder is a solid figure three dimension okay so it is formed by folding a rectangular sheet either lengthwise or widthwise total surface area includes the curved surface area and top area and bottom area total surface area lateral surface area is only the curved surface area excluding top area and bottom area that is 2 pi r h unit square total surface area is a combination of curved surface area plus pi r square plus pi r square 2 pi r square together taking common factor you will get 2 pi r into r plus h please take it down along with this you have to repeat the formula of q by q by so far you have learnt because when we move on to the next solid after completion 
you will have volumes of all these solids again surface area and volume combination you will get the formula you will have the problems based on that that is giving area they will ask volume knowing volume you have to find out height and radius like that there is interrelation so the formula by hearting of the formula or repeating of the formula is very very important okay is clear yes we'll move on to the worksheet what i said today first question in today's worksheet first worksheet is based on q by and q boy and today's worksheet is regarding cylinder is it clear is take the first question the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of height 14 cm question is already has sent and just giving the measurements here the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of height 14 cm is 88 cm curved surface area is 88 cm square find the diameter of the base of the cylinder radius then its double diameter get a small figure in the working column the curved surface area of the circular cylinder that is 2 pi r h is 88 where h is given we have to find out its diameter of the base of the cylinder so i will write here curved surface area equals 88 cm square that is 2 pi r h equals 88 where h is known 2 r because diameter we require equals 88 by pi h either you can substitute here only then cancel or else you can keep this in the denominator 2 r equals 88 by the value of pi is always 22 by 7 that 22 the 7 will go to numerator and height of the cylinder is 14 now do the calculation you will get diameter 22 fours are 7 ones are 7 twos are further you will get 2 cm clear Check your answer once. Two pi r h given along with that height is given to find out the diameter that is two r, keeping pi and h in the denominator, where pi value is twenty two by seven. So the diameter is two centimeter. Okay. Suppose if you are not getting an idea, you have to keep two r. First of all, you calculate radius. And double it, you get the diameter of the cylinder. Is it clear? Next. Shall I move on to the next question? Curved surface area of a right circular cylinder. Question number two. Curved surface area of a cylinder. So without writing all the statement, don't go with directly calculation. Okay. Curved surface area of a cylinder is four point four meters square. If the radius of the base is zero point seven, radius 
equals 0.7 meter. Calculate its height. Height equals question mark. So from the statement, I took 2 pi r h I found 4.4 radius 0.7. What we have to find out? Height. That put the question mark here. Now apply the formula. 2 pi r h equals 4.4. Therefore, h equals 4.4 upon 2 pi r. So, keeping LHS in the height, remaining part I took it down. Now, h equals 4.4 upon 2 into 22 upon 7 into 0 0.7. Simplify. You can remove the decimal from both numerator and denominator. So that it becomes h equals 44 into 7 by 2 into 22 into 7. What is the answer? Simplify. I remove the decimal from both numerator and denominator. So that you will get 44 into 7. Denominator again 44 into 7. So all together it get cancelled. The H is 1 meter. So height of the cylinder equals 1 meter. It is given in meter. Keep the answer in 1 meter or 100 centimeter. You are not seeing the left part of the board. Now is it clear? Is it clear? Though it is not visible, you know the calculation. You can go ahead. Okay. Don't see every steps. If it is new, is okay. I myself will inform. Just to see reason the explanation. Otherwise, when you know the values and having the formula, you can Calculate. It's not a difficult concept. Okay. Is it clear to everybody? Okay. Next question. Question number three from your worksheet. That portion is okay. Shall I turn this? I will just turn this. Okay. The ratio between the curved surface area, curved surface area and total surface area of a circular cylinder as 1 is to 2. 1 is to 2, I took it as 1 by 2. Can we do like that? Curved surface area divided by total surface area equals 1 is to 2. Find the ratio between height and radius of the cylinder. That means we have to find the ratio between R is to H. So let us write the formula. No values given. Just they are given the ratio. Ratio. Listen. It's relation only they are given. We write curved surface area as 2 pi R. And total surface area is 2 pi r into r plus h equals 1 by 2. Curved surface area is 2 pi r h and total surface area is 2 pi r into r plus h. So we cancel 2 pi r on both the side. h by r plus h equals 1 by 2. Let us have the cross multiplication process. 2H equals R plus H. H equals R. 
therefore ratio between their radius and the height is 1 is to 1 Yes, having the formula application, cancelling the common terms, you will get the ratio when h is equal to r. The ratio between the radius and the height of the cylinder is one is to one. Next question. Question number four. I think you are all following. Please give up your answer, yes or no. Are we all following? This is purely based on the cylinder, solid cylinder only, regarding their ratio, their cut surface area, their total surface area. Any doubt you can ask. Otherwise, I'll go with the question number four. Okay, yes. Savitri had to make a model of a cylindrical kaleidoscope. Have you ever seen the kaleidoscope? It is cylindrical in shape. Both the top and bottom has what we have: objective lens and eyepiece. Both are fixed. The cardboard is only for its cut surface area. Savitri had to make a model of cylindrical kaleidoscope. She wanted to use chart paper. What should be the area of the chart paper of length 25 centimeter? Length is nothing but h 25 centimeter, and the width that is the radius. Two three point five centimeter radius. That is R equals three point five centimeter. Since it is a model of kaleidoscope, its top and bottom are open. There they are using the glass portion as eyepiece and objective. Is it clear? The cardboard is only for the curved surface area. That means. Chart required to make this kaleidoscope as a science project is nothing but curved surface area of the model. Now try to answer it. First, you write what is given. Height h equals twenty five centimeter. Radius r equals. Three point five centimeter. Therefore, total area of cardboard. Total area of cardboard required required is equal to curved surface area of the model. The model is cylindrical in shape. The curved surface area of the cylinder is two pi r h. That is two into twenty-two by seven. I will take three point five as seven by two. Can we take seven by two? Is nothing but three point five, and h is. Twenty-five. So now cancel seven seven. Cancel two two. You will get the product of twenty-two into twenty-five. Keep the answer in centimeter square. Write in the unit also very very important. Yes, get the product of twenty-two into twenty-five. Twenty-five twos are fifty. Twenty-five twos are fifty plus five. 550 cm square please do the calculation in your notes
yes 550 cm square any doubt you can work out in a working column in pencil but don't straight away get the answer from the board try to work out by yourself okay Five fifty centimeter square. Conclude your answer. Total area of sheet required for the model equals five fifty centimeter square. So try to put one pencil line for each problem and put the question number also in order. You have to. write up the problems putting today's date okay next next question question number 5 the radii of two right circular cylinder there are two cylinders of different heights consider this radius as r1 and this radius as r2 the radii of two circular cylinder are in the ratio 2 is to 3 and their heights h1 and h2 and their heights are in the ratio 5 is to 4 calculate the ratio of their curved surface area instead of giving direct dimension everything in ratio radius is also in ratio height is also in ratio considering there are two cylinders of two different radius two different height then what could be the ratio of the curved surface area we have to calculate it is small figure of this showing r1 h1 of first figure r2 h2 of second figure okay curved surface area of two cylinders 2 pi r1 is 2 uh, pi r1 h1 2 pi r2 h2 r1 h1 is radius and height of the first cylinder R two H two is the radius and height of the second cylinder. So cancel two pi constant from both the side. Now write R one as two x, H one as five x. Here three x, four x. R one H one, R two H two. What will get? Ten x square is to twelve x square. Cancelling this to five zero to six zero. So ratio between their curved surface area is five is to six. Yes.
is that clear yes now move on to the next question then now this question they have given a rectangular sheet of paper please take down the figure a rectangular sheet of paper 44 cm by 18 cm is rolled along its length means this is length 44 this is 18 high along its length means this will be fold like this so that the breadth will become the height and the length will become the circumference is it clear the question a rectangular sheet of paper 40 44 cm into 18 cm is rolled along its length and a cylinder is formed find the radius of the cylinder and also its total surface area since it is rolled rolled along its length rolled along its length therefore circumference of the cylinder equals 2 pi r the 2 pi r is nothing but length of the rectangular sheet since it is rolled length wise the length will become the circumference of the cylinder that is the top and base circumference so what we get 2 into 22 by 7 into r equals 44 this 22 get cancel like this 2 also get cancel r equals 7 cm what is h when it is rolled along its length the width will become breadth of the rectangle will become the height of the rectangle so height equals 18 cm radius equals 7 cm in the question they are asking calculate the total surface area therefore total surface area of cylinder we have the formula that is 2 pi r into r plus h substitute r and h to the formula what will get 2 into 22 by 7 into radius is 7 Seven plus eighteen. Can you see the board? Is it clear? So this seven get cancel. Forty four into eighteen plus seven. Twenty five. Get the product. Twenty four four is a hundred. Twenty four four is a hundred plus ten. What's the final product? Keep the answer in centimeter square. What will get? One thousand one hundred centimeter square. Twenty-five fours are hundred. Twenty-four fours are hundred plus ten hundred and ten. So the answer is one one zero zero thousand one hundred centimeter square. Vismaya and all come. Has attended here. Vismaya, Punya, Maulya. They are all not giving any answer so far. Grishma. 
Tanya, Sonika Prasad, Yes, Sonika, Srishti is okay. What about others? Ishat. Aditi Shetty. Aisha Thanan present. Then Tanya. Adya from NPS. Adya from NPS. Yes. At least show me your answer is I am present, I have this, I have done this. That is most important. I can at least visualize your answers from here. Yes, Ashes. Ashes from San Joseph. Ashes Manjunath. Vismaya present. Yes. Monish Kumar. Monish is present. Because nowadays the network is so much fluctuating. If at all I try to make up with the friend's house, but don't miss the class, children. Okay. Shall I proceed to the next question? Is it clear to everybody how we can apply? Formula to the values mentioned in the question is important. When we move around both surface areas and volumes, then you have combination of the problems as a hot question. Okay. Thank you, children. We'll move on to the class now. Okay. Question. The diameter of a garden roller. Have you seen the garden roller? which is cylindrical in shape like this. The diameter of a garden roller like this, which has a hand to move roller to level the grass is 1.4 meter and it is 2 meter long. How much area will it cover in Five revolution. Five revolution means one revolution, one rotation is nothing but it's two pi r h. So area covered by the roller equals curved surface area of the roller into number of ro rotation or revolution. Is it clear? Like this, when we move one rotation means one curved surface area, like that five revolution. How much area does it cover is the question, okay? So, please get a small figure and write area covered by the roller. Have you all seen the roller? It's cylindrical in shape. Either in opposite side there, there is a rotation part or in the middle it used to move further. So, rotating, rotating means it is covering one one. Rotation with one third surface area. Area covered by the roller equal curved surface area of the roller into number of revolution. Revolution is nothing but rotation. One one rotation, total rotation gives the total area to cover to level the field that is 2 pi r h into 5 where d is given we have to take r as 0 0.7 very very important whether d is given r is given whether both the dimension has the same unit you have to check 1 centimeter and other dimension in meter you have to keep the both the dimensions of the same unit then you have to apply to the formula. 
Is that clear? Now substitute, you will get 2 into 22 by 7 into 0 0.7 into 2 into 5. So if I cancel, it becomes 0 0.1. So 44 into 10 into 0 0.1. What you get? You have to keep the answer in with a square. 44, 5 to 10, 0 0.1. Yes, do the calculation and give a small figure so that you can easily recall, identify what is roller, why we should take only curved surface area, why not the total surface area. There is questions you may get in your mind. To that, if the figure is there, then immediately you can recall the explanation. Yes, you will get the confirmation. Okay? So the final answer is 44 meter square. So the total area level by the roller equals 44 meter square. Okay. We'll go with the next question then. So don't keep only 44. You have to write 44 meter square. That is area covered by the roller in 5 rotation. Next question. Same type of question. The diameter of a roller, here also they have given the diameter of the roller is roller 120 centimeter long is 84 centimeter. Please understand the question. Directly they have not given the radius. The sentence wise, a diameter of the roller which is 120 centimeter long is 84 centimeter. Then you have to take radius as 42 centimeter. How much area it takes to complete 500 revolution and also what is the cost of leveling at the rate of 5, 5 per square meter. So the roller is in centimeter, later we have to convert into meter square, then you have to calculate the cost of leveling. Get the small figure of this roller and write what and all given in the question. That is height, please get the figure, height equals 120 centimeter. Radius equals 42 centimeter. Number of revolution equals 500. Here itself you can convert it to meter. If not, after getting the answer in centimeter square, dividing it by 100 into 100, you will get in meter. Okay. So now, area covered equals 
curved surface area of roller into number of revolution number of revolution that is 2 pi r h into 500 2 into 22 by 7 radius 42 height 120 into 500 for the timing you can use pencil for the cancellation if you are not having the confidence with your calculation okay 76 of 42 so now 44 into 126 Seven two seven twenty into five hundred. I directly divided by hundred into hundred, so that answer will be in meter square. Is that clear? So two zeros get cancelled here. One zero I cancel. Now get the product five ones are five twos are two twenty twos. So now the product. Twenty-two into seventy-two gives the answer in meter square. Later, calculate the cost into five rupees. What is twenty-two into seventy-two? Twenty-two twos are forty-four. Twenty-two four sevens are one fifty-four plus four. One five eight. Please check your answer whether this answer is right. Okay. And after getting the total area in meter square, one meter square cost rupees five. So what is the total cost? One five eight four into five. You will get the answer in rupees. so first you have to calculate the area in centimeter square then i divide it by 100 into 100 so that it is converted to meter square because they are given the cost in meter square only now 54s are 20 58s are 40 plus 2 42 55s are 25 plus 2 29 Five ones are five plus two seven seven thousand nine hundred and twenty rupees. So, but only thing is when it is in centimeter, if the cost is in meter square, we have to convert either in the beginning only or after finding the area. That is very important. You have to check the cost with respect to what, whether it is for centimeter or for meter. Okay, or in the beginning only you can convert centimeter scale to meter scale. Later you can do the calculation. Okay. Is it clear? So cost of leveling the field equals rupees seven thousand nine hundred and twenty. Next, shall I proceed now? Is it clear to everybody?
Next question. A frame of a lamp shade. Get the small figure of the lamp shade. It is like cylindrical, but both top and bottom are open. A frame of a lamp shade is to be covered with decorative cloth. The frame has a base diameter 20 cm. So radius is 10 cm. And height 30 cm. And 2.5 cm margin is to be given for folding it over the top and bottom. So they are using 2.5 cm for folding top and bottom like this. So from 2.5 here, 2.5 together 5, the height will be 35 cm. They are using the folding cloth by 2.5 cm. So I included the, those two extra cloth for the margin as 2.5 plus 2.5. Find how much cloth is required for covering the lamp shade. Lamp shade is open and at the top as well as at the bottom. The cloth required is only for the skirt surface area. So, area of cloth. Area of cloth required to cover the lamp shade is nothing but curved surface area of the lamp shade and we know that since it is cylindrical in shape Curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h. Yes, please do the calculation. Substitute for 2 into 22 by 7 into 10 into 35. Yes, 2200 centimeters square. Is that clear? Others also please try 22 by 7, 10 into 35. 7 fives are 5 twos are 10. 10 into 22 into 10 gives 2200 centimeter square. That much cloth is required. But only thing you should think, since they have mentioned to fold as a margin, 2.5 cm cloth is needed. So you should add plus 2.5 and here plus 2.5. Together, 5 cm extra cloth. That is most important here. You have to see each point, each line in the statement given. Clear? Next question. Shall I move on to the next question? Yes, question number 10. Fourth question only. A solid cylinder has 
total surface area total surface area of a solid cylinder it is given 462 cm square total surface area of a solid cylinder is 462 cm square its curved surface area of the cylinder they have the relation it is one third of its total surface area curved surface area of a cylinder is one third of total surface area that is 3 ones are 3 pi's are 2 fours are centimeter square curved surface area is we got separately total surface area also we got separately now find the radius and height of the cylinder yes total surface area formula 2 pi r into r plus h equals 462 whereas curved surface area means 2 pi r h that we get when we write it separately that is 2 pi r square plus please listen and observe equals 462 as if there is no separate ra radius and height but they have given the values of total surface area and curved surface area when i just remove the bracket we got 2 pi r square 2 pi r h so 2 pi r square and we know what is 2 pi r h is 154 equals 462 is it clear instead of giving the radius and height separately they have given the relation that relation you should apply to the formula formula we cannot change only we have to adjust with the condition now 2 pi r square equals 462 Minus one fifty four. What we get? Two pi r square equals twelve minus four zero three hundred and eight. So we know pi value. We can find out the radius now. That is r square equals three hundred and eight upon two pi. R square equals three hundred and eight upon Two into twenty-two by seven. Please do the calculation and tell me what you get. Eleven two is a okay. Eleven two is a eleven eight is a two fourteen is a two seven. R equals root of forty nine. R equals seven centimeter. But we require its radius also. How to find out the radius? Since two pi r h equals one fifty four centimeter square. This h we can find out because we know r. We know the value of pi also. That is two into 22 by 7 into 7 into h equals 154. Cancel this. H equals 154 by 44. Come on. 11 ones are 11 fours are. So you get 7 by 2 or 3.5 centimeter. Most repeated. Hot question from this cylinder unit. So here total surface area is given. Directly we cannot substitute R and H. I split it by removing the bracket. So that curved surface area I substituted. Now we got two pi r square equals three not eight. With that we found out the radius. Knowing the radius, we can find out the height. 
again substituting to the condition. Is it clear? Same type of question I will give you. Like this only, please take this question. You can try at home. Okay. It is given. The total surface area of the cylinder is 231 cm square. Shall I write here? Question number 11. Total surface area of cylinder is 231 cm square. Its curved surface area is Two third, that is two by three into two thirty one. Two third of the total surface area. Calculate like this. You have to do calculate radius and height. I hope you all will try. When I give the question like this to try only. One or two will show immediately answer. Others will think that let it be with us. You should not do like that. Okay? So, same type, different value. Here it is one third, here it is two third. There it is 462, it is two third, 231. Okay? Remaining procedures are same. Try to answer them. Okay? Okay, now it is clear, Shavya. Total surface area of the cylinder is 231 cm square. Its curved surface area is 2 third of the total surface area. Calculate the radius and height. And here, two more questions in the worksheet left that I will do. Okay? One more question I will include, question number 12. Try to answer this or otherwise I will in the next class I will do. Because after doing these four questions left, I will straight away move to the surface area, curved surface area and total surface area of solid cone. So by the time it should be ready with calculation. Okay, that is next portion is the curved surface area of a cylinder is 4400 cm square. The curved surface area of a cylinder is 4400 cm square. If the circumference, circumference means 2 pi r, circumference of the base, circumference of the base is 110 centimeter, find the height of the cylinder. So these two extra question, apart from that two more question left in the worksheet. Tomorrow in my class I will complete those two question with this. If possible try to get the answer. Immediately I will move on to the solid figure four. Before that today itself you practice the cylinder formula along with the problems what I have shown here. Okay. As a calculations to be done by you only not with the calculator. So that you can speed up with your calculation. Is it clear? Working means everybody should work out the problems. Then only it is inform with all the students. Okay children. And please inform other students. If your uh, presence is this much. I will shift over to the Google Meet. Because I cannot go with this. Instead of giving live record, I will give only 
the direct class inform to your friends because only hardly 23 25 is fluctuating remaining all got the absence so that i don't want please inform to your friends if it is a genuine reason is okay otherwise you have to attend the class okay thank you children see you in the next class i will tell you this sunday test is there there because depending on the how much portion you are going to cover if it is covered both cylinder and cone if you with the sphere then there will be test okay thank you children